Hey everybody, it's your girl Tony Time, back with some more Sims for you. If you like this video, then hit those thumbs up, subscribe, and notification buttons. And be sure to leave a comment below, share my content, and follow my social medias in the description box before you go. Now let's get into the video. Hey everybody, it's your girl Tony Time, and I'm back with some more Sims for you. And in this part, I'm going to go over all the new towns that I added. Just like a really quick overview of all of them. I have a special guest with me here today. I'm special. Yes, this is Melly, y'all, from my Smasher Pass Challenge. Um, I did the Smasher Pass Challenge Sims Edition with Melly and Rosie, and she's back helping me with this. She just really wanted to hang out, so I said, okay, let's do another little thing. Um, I'm going to really quickly go through all these towns, and then I'm probably going to show you one or two of the apartments that I built um, from scratch in the uh, San Machino for my Machinima that I'm hopefully doing. I really think I'm going to turn Machinima, y'all. I really, really do. And plus, I'm working on a Machinima for something else. So, hopefully, that will help me get my skills up. So, this will come out kind of nice for y'all. And then, Melly's just going to be in the background saying things. And I'm probably going to hit her for it later, but it's fine. Um, we're friends. We're friends. We we're love friends. each other. <laughs> we're, we are friends. We are friends. <laughs> <laughs> There's no hostages here. Anyway. Um... So I guess real quick, I'll just go through uh, all the things I have in all the different towns and all the little families. And I downloaded all of these um, venues and places from the gallery as well as all the families, except for the ones that I created, which are the households and the houses they live in. Those are all my own creations. So yeah, just get that out of the way. And honestly, if y'all ask me where places from, I could probably figure it out. But as y'all know, I rename everything in my like game system. So if it's a spa, I rename it spa, and then it ha doesn't have the original name just because it makes it easier for me. But yeah. So let's see. Real quick, these are families. Becker and Lopez. They're really cute. Oh, the Lange and Corsa mix are cute. Oh, wait. Uh, where else? Yeah, just these random people. These two, I think they're actually a couple. No, these two are best friends. They're really nice. Um, Holmes was a homeless girl. I liked her. Who else? The Dunbars and Zalkins, they're like, I think they're like an old Jersey family. I really, I appreciate them. The Alitas, they're like brothers. They're not actually related, but they're really um, good friends and they live together. The Caspers and the Horners, two different families living together because the um, best friends both had kids and then they all just live together. And I think it's like a big house of just females. Yeah, I think there's one boy in the whole entire house. He's a little big. Is this even a boy? Hold up. Is this a boy? Actually, don't know, but anyway. Um, so this is a little park that I downloaded, cafe, uh, a bowling bar, a restaurant. I tried to give a lot of the places um, traits. So like the, this restaurant right here is a part of the romantic or trait. I put in the gym, retail, museum, uh, and this little karaoke bar. I'm gonna be going here probably uh, for a few different things with my singing people because I really like the build of it. And Literally, I completely redid the entire universe, so I literally sat here for like two weeks, y'all, finding like sims that I liked with great backstories and these venues and everything I liked, so that was annoying, but it was well worth it. Um, this family's really cute, the Barlet and Sands Creeks. Um, Cassiopeia and Power, who are they? Who's Cassiopeia and Power? Who are these people? Oh wait, you wouldn't know, never mind. <laughs> yeah, well I'm asking her, she don't know. Um, Oh, the lake is really cute. I think she's like the aunt of the two kids. Um, the Youngs, a cute little Asian American family. Uh, Lewis's are an uh, unmarried couple. Um, Prince, I think that's his daughter. He's like an artist or something. His eyes scare me. Like, can I just show y'all a picture of him? Like, wait, where is he? No, I want the, not husband, the father. The father's eyes, they give me nightmares. Like, oh, I can't even show y'all, but I'm not about to go into it. But yeah, that's him and his daughter. Um, he's actually a writer. The averages, but they're anything but average. They're like an athletic couple. Collins and Schultz, a cute little married gay couple. Um, Bradford and Corsini's. Becker and Newcomb, that's her and her son. Um... I'm surprised I remember as many of these people as I do because honestly, I just started downloading things. Um, the Grands, a uh, cute little family with two sons, and Belle. And then who do we have here? I downloaded this really nice pool. I'm probably going to go here a lot. Um, this park is like an alien crash site, which I thought was interesting. I love this cafe. Like the build of it is really nice. I'm probably going to be going there a lot. Lounge, library. This library is actually really nice. Um, this like outside bar. 
And these art centers, I think I downloaded two new art centers. I really like them a lot. And I actually had to make a new game save, like, for me to play personally. Because my old game saves, like, the generations and everything just got all messed up. And I can fix them, but I'm just lazy and I don't want to. So I just made a whole new game with this new universe. And I really, really like it. <clears throat> um, the Coughlins. I think this is a couple with a lot of kids. I'm pretty sure they have a lot of kids. Like, anything that's taking long to load, I'm pretty sure they have a lot. Oh, wait, no. It's, oh, no. It's a mom and her three kids. I forgot. Okay. Um, Ajahn and Viv Viviani. Ajahn and Viviani. I really like this couple. Look at this cute little couple. They have, like, they're all bald. <laughs> like, the mother's bald, the father's bald, and then the little boy or little girl has a bunch of hair. <laughs> Why are they bald? I wanted her to have like cancer or something. I think she actually has cancer you in her backstory. To have <laughs> cancer? I wanted people to have cool backstories with diversity. Cancer is not cool. <laughs> I know, but in her backstory of the person who drew up, oh, person who drew her, the person who created her, I'm pretty sure she had cancer. So I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I like that. I mean, I don't like it, but you, don't, you like the fact that she has cancer. I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> Kansas is not cool, y'all. Um, but let's see. But I just like them because I'm like, oh, I both of them are bald because I felt like she probably had like health issues. Her husband shaved his head to make her feel better, and then their little baby has like a full head of hair. I thought that was kind of adorable. Um, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> uh, Barrientos. Oh, these guys are all brothers. All these blonde brothers. All these blonde brothers. Yeah, don't they look like Tony LaCour? <laughs> Children of the corn. Um, the Cordanis and Moore Simmons. I'm pretty sure this is a farming family. Yeah, this is like a big farm. So these two parents, I think that they had their oldest child um, get married and then they had kids and then they're like the family's kids and everything. So basically it's the whole farming family. All the kids are raised to like do farming things. Um, the Mertons is really a complete family of redheads. <laughs> And then the father's just like, he's just brown, um, brown haired. Uh, the Hutchinson and Ryan, those are just two best friends. Windwalker. What are those things called from uh, Game of Thrones? Oh, I don't either. See, I thought you would know. Okay, well, anyway. What are they called if y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what I'm talking about. The white people? The white people? Stop. The white people. Oh, my goodness. Cody and Flores. Oh, these are two, uh, two brothers, and they live with a gay couple. Um, they're just really good friends. The Rizzo's or Rizzo's, Calhoun and Saunders. Um, two. I think this is all like a bunch of friends, and then one of them has a son or a brother, something like that. Delacourt, he's really nice. Um, Rose, she has three kids. Um, who's a Stringer? Who's Stringer? Oh, Stringer was these two brothers. I really like them actually. The Tangs are three brothers who live together. Um, Jonker, I'm pretty sure there's the older brother and his little brother. Yeah. And I, what I try to do with a lot of these sims I have in this new game is, like, a lot of them are related and they have big families. Because I was really trying to fill my town up with, like, actual playable people with actual backstories. Because, I, I mean, I don't mind the random sims, like, who the game creates and stuff. But, like, you don't always want them around because you'd be like, you don't really add no substance to my game. You're just here taking up space. So that's really what I did. And also, y'all can tell I have a thing for really big families. So I did that. Um, the Chalet Gardens, I did download a new Chalet Gardens, so, and it, literally a new Chalet Gardens, a new Island Bluff, um, and then what's this other one, The Ruins? I downloaded all new things for all those, so you'll probably see those in, um, the gameplay sometime. I got a new cafe, nightclub, this restaurant's really nice too, actually. Um, I downloaded another library, because I felt like we needed some more libraries, another bowling bar, karaoke, this is a really nice nightclub with, like, a pool, I like it. Um, oh, this gym. When I saw this gym, yes, the gym was really nice, too. Um, Magnolia Promenade is next. Let's see what's in that Magnolia Promenade. Not a lot. I downloaded, like, this little Italian restaurant and a little Mexican restaurant. This is a fish store and a, um, retail place where you can buy, like, frogs and things. And then in the basement of it, it's this supernatural, um, store, basically. So this is where... You're probably going to see some of my characters at a lot, like the witches and things, because they're probably going to go here to go to the basement to buy, like, a bunch of creepy stuff. Um, we're going to skip Sam Ashino and come back real quick. And then Forgotten Hollow, I downloaded two vampire restaurants, 
and then the Rouges who look Asian diversity <laughs> Asian vampires Melly loves her Asian diversity I'm also Asian should really clarify that. I mean, if they saw the Smash Up Tash Challenge, they would know that. Who, how many of y'all knew that? How many of y'all knew that? How many of y'all are real fans and were here since day one, aka video two? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, the Petrov Pet Petrova? Petrova. Petrovas and Pierce, they have ghostly, ghastly, ghostly white skin. <laughs> I don't even know how to like do all that. And then the Wallaces, it's just this cute little family with all their little adopted children. So they're really cute. Um, the mother and father just adopted like a bunch of vampire kids and they're also vampires. So I think that's like a kind of like a halfway house, not a halfway house. What do you call that? A adoption place where you keep the kids at. There we go. Orphanage. Wow. Okay. I need to go to sleep. It's also like 10 55 right now and at night and i've been running around all week and i've been up since 4 a.m so forgive me if i can't think of words um and then we have the crows here i'm pretty sure who's the team one of them is a team and she had the baby the toddler um she was like a teen mom and i guess she gave birth finally the bolts the m's the sons and the trotters okay so this is really a family of four um kids or four sisters basically they were all in like foster home together and so they all stayed together they all had like their kids and everything and they all still live together so that's why they all have different names but they still live together the pumas they're really nice they're a cute little um hispanic married couple the mcdowell's oh this was like a chubby couple in my game because y'all know i need my diversity and body type so i need to add some some fluffy people in my game they are fluffy <laughs> Um, we have the Sniffs, the Sands, and the Whitakers. Um, the boy and the girl on the right are actually, I think the daughter is the daughter of the two men. Um, I'm pretty sure those are her fathers and they're gay. And then that's her boyfriend up to the left of her. And I think she's actually supposed to be pregnant. But yeah. Um, who else? Collins and Patterson. I remember they are gay. The two... The two guys are gay, they're together, and then the older girl is one of their sisters, and then the two babies they adopted. Um, the Grays, the Hurleys, and the Ridges, literally just a bunch of families that knew each other, like a bunch of couples and things, and they all said, hey, we can move into the city, or we could all move into a house together and just like live together, and so they did that. Um, Jordans and Shelton's, all these, <laughs> All these hot dads basically got a house together and they all basically had their daughters move in with them because I don't know, I guess none of the mothers want the children. So they all just moved in together and they said, since we ain't got no moms around, we gonna all support each other. And so that's what they did. Um, one of them is married though, I'm pretty sure. Um, one of them is married to one of these girls. I'm pretty sure they're married. If not, then that's their child. I don't remember. But yeah, um, Martinez, just another cute little family. Um, the Kimbros and the Shazads, it's a, um, Muslim family and a little Islamic family. I wanted some more diversity. I love the headscarf and everything like them. Um, I'm pretty sure they actually have a servant. Is this the one with the servants? Yeah. The two people on the right top, those are actually their servants. And then the two on the left top are the parents. And then the ones on the three on the bottom are their kids. So that's what that is. Um, this is a park that I downloaded. Another art center, which is really nice. I actually just went there my own gameplay, like my personal gameplay. <clears throat> this little national park that really has every single food vending place that you can find in the game. The only problem is I tried to go there in my gameplay, like my personal one again. And I had just spent $100 on each vending, like vending place in order to get a vendor. So that's kind of annoying, but it's really good if you want to have a party. Like if you're having a birthday party, and you really don't want to like pay for the um, catering station and things like that, or like a wedding, this would be a really nice place to add in. Or just like add to another venue as a room. I put a spa in here, and this little karaoke bar is really nice because some of it's inside, some of it's outside, and it's like a little pyramid um, type situation going on. And then we have San Maishuno. Let's see who's in San Maishuno. Okay. <clears throat> San Maishuno. We have all these places. So these are the Mas Masikoto sisters. Look, Asian! Asian! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Ayala and Marie, they're just two roommates. I guess two college roommates. 
Thrall and Stars. Um, she is a human, he's an alien, and they're both trying to be rock stars, like a rock star couple. That's why their house looks like this. And like I said, all of these houses that I downloaded that aren't my personal characters don't live in them, I downloaded from the gallery, which is so annoying for the apartments because one, they don't have doors. So you have to go back in, find the walls, find the doors. Um, and then two, it's just annoying, especially if you have like levels to the house. It's so annoying, especially if it's not the penthouse. Like I wanted to low key like strangle somebody. I couldn't, but I got through it. I got through it. it. Took me a while and took me a lot of patience, but I got through it. Um, I just love these houses though. Like, oh yes. Um, who else do we have? We'll come back to those guys because those are all my people. Roommates, I'm not going to show you the house because I don't think I can click on it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You can kind of see it from the outside. It's literally just a penthouse. Um, and then this is literally just a bunch of roommates who live together. Um, I don't know, they're in college or something. Made up a story. <laughs> and then let's see who's here. The Timberlakes, I just found out that this is supposed to be like Justin Timberlake, but yeah, Justin Timberlake's family basically. Um, the Mandracars, Mandracar? It's like another little, um, Arabian family, and they live here. Uh, Josephs and Williams, it's a Native American girl with, I think he's a vampire. Is he a vampire? I'm pretty sure he's a vampire. Yeah, I only added like a few supernatural people. I tried to keep most of them in the um, vampire world, but I did put a few in the city since I do have supernatural creatures in my city anyway. I wanted them to kind of have some friends. So I threw like one or two splashed around, but literally all of them are either in the vampire world or in the city. They don't live anywhere else. And then I'm pretty sure that Alan is actually married to Jordan. Oh no, are they not married? Oh, they must be dating. I don't remember. Um, oh no, Alan is married to Ray Rayanne. Okay. And then Jor uh, Jordan Joseph lives with them. And then Burgos and Salazar. I think these two are actually supposed to be married. They just didn't take each other's last name. So yeah, uh, who else do we have? Did we get these guys already? Oh, Hernan Henderson. I put them in like this other little penthouse, the Salt Lake one that was over here. It's really a family of, with tattoos. Like the mother has tattoos, the, the daughters have tattoos, her husband has tattoos, her sister has tattoos. Like they're all tattooed and they all have the same tattoos. It's kind of freaky. I think it's like a cult. But anyway, <laughs> and yeah, I actually really like them though. And let's see who else is here. We have Beauty, who's another a Native American girl. Um, and the Grubers or Grubbers, it's two um, scientist people. They're like alien hunters. It's a couple. They're really cute. Um, who else do we have here? We have, uh, I'm not done with this place yet, so don't like worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, um, Valdez is just a random art girl. Pi, she's an alien. Since I'm right here, I might as well tell y'all. Um, these are the girls who are living together. I kind of showed them to y'all in the last part. Um, y'all see, I didn't even touch this room yet. Um, Bado and Saad, um, just this little married couple, and they adopted these two African children. Um, who are these guys? Kornukova, it's a little Russian family. I actually really like their backstory. They had a cool one. I think it's like the father was like a banker and he lost a job and now they're like smuggling stuff through the Americas. It's like really funny. Um, shouldn't be funny, but it's funny to me. It shouldn't be funny, but it's funny to me, like I said. Um, Muhammad, this is another um, Arabian, Saudi Arabian type family. And I really like them. I love whoever created the father. Like, he looks very uh, traditional. The only thing I'm mad, kind of mad about is that they put a towel on his head trying to make a turban. Oh, no. I was just like, okay, well, yeah. That happened. <laughs> um, land grab. Oh, I didn't, I didn't touch their place yet, but you can just see like these are the um, teachers that I put together. And then these two I also haven't touched, and these are the other two um, people that I put together. And now I can actually come back here because I did do this apartment, so I'll show y'all this one. Um, and I think that's all I have. But yeah, I also threw a karaoke bar here. Like, there's not really a lot going on in this town because you don't have a lot of spaces open. But there's a karaoke bar here, a spa here, a museum. This museum is really, really nice. It's like the way that the person built it, it's like it's scaffolded on one side and on the other side it's actually like a building. So I left it like that because I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, that building itself is artistic. I knew that took a long time to do. It was really nice. Um, I throw a new restaurant over here, and then my Shuno Metals I downloaded from somebody. Um, 
I don't remember who it was, and I'm really subscribed to her on YouTube, and I can't remember who it is, and now it's gonna bug me. But yeah, I downloaded her creation. It might have been Little Cindy. Little Cindy? Is that her name? I think it was her. Um, if not, I'll let y'all know in a second, or like when I fi find out in the next one, but yeah. Oh, and I threw another lounge up here. This lounge is really, really nice. I love this lounge. Um, but yeah, let's go over here now. So, Nelly, this is where you come in. Really? Yeah. You're going to comment on my building. <laughs> please, please make me feel good. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to show y'all the... Did I even finish this one yet? I had to double check. I'm like, wait, did I finish it? <laughs> but yeah, um... These are the two floors to the houses that I made so far, and we'll really quickly, well, this is where what my main group that I'm probably going to play with of girls live. Um, I'll show you this one house, and then I'll go to the other house. So let's show you this one first. So this is where Jordane, Lockie, Emily, and who's the last one? See, Bella all live. So the witch, the Loch Ness Monster's child, the werewolf's child, and... Random witch girl. <laughs> random okay. witch girl. Random witch girl. Well, random witch girl. She doesn't need a name. <laughs> Blair Witch Trials. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Um, all right, y'all. So we're back now, and we are at the girls that I just stated their house, and I'm gonna show it to Melly. She's the first person to get the first look at this house. Yeah. Nobody else has seen it yet. I did. I built all the walls. I literally respaced the entire space. I furnished it. Don't judge me. I don't like doing work. <laughs> um, all right. So let me just go from the front. I guess it's the easiest way. Um, I'm not sure how I want to angle the camera, but yeah. Okay. So here's the first room that we're in. So you enter through what? What do you call this? The front door. <laughs> you enter okay. through the front door, <laughs> and you hit the living room. Uh -huh. And then this is what the living room looks like. It's literally just like vomiting girly. Yeah, like it's vomiting girly. Like it's all like bohemian and like, um. Yeah, totally great. Thanks. And then you come through there and you hit the dining area, which is this little purple room right here. And it has a little fireplace over here because I don't know, we want to be cute and have fireplaces, but we also have a fire extinguisher. Because, you know, fires. We learn a lot about fires where we live. Um, and then you can either come into the kitchen right here. Oh, no, I don't want to cook the kitchen. You can either come into the kitchen right here, which I kind of made purple and turquoise because that's the color scheme. Um, yeah. This kind of, I love this teapot looking thing. But, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. and, or you can come to your left and you'll hit the balcony right here, which is probably where a few of them are going to hang out and stuff. And they have a little grill over here with a um, fire alarm thingy over here. So, you know, if anything catches on fire, we can stop it. <laughs> um, fires. fires. <laughs> We're very triggered about fires. Where we... <laughs> um... <laughs> And then if you hit the living room, you can go up the stairs. And since there's four girls living here, I was going to just do two rooms and give everybody a roommate. But I really wanted to give people double beds because, you know, woo-booing and things. So, <laughs> yeah, so like I was like, you know what? We'll give people uh, double beds and everybody's just going to have their own room and we're just going to make the room small. And then you hit this little space up here when you hit the, um, what do you call those things? The stairs. And then we have a little air, what do you what is this called? Um, vanity station where you can do your makeup. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bathroom here. Like literally next to the vanity station. I couldn't fit the bath, the vanity obviously in the bathroom. So I just um, threw it on the outside where the kitchen is. Not kitchen, where the um, little free area is. And then you have, ooh, ooh, okay, there we go. Then you have, uh, whose room is this? This is Emily's room. So if you come down the hallway, you hit Emily's room. She is the uh, mummy, actually. Did I even say she was a mummy in the last part? I don't remember. But yeah, she's a mummy, um, and this is what her room looks like. I tried to make it kind of like royal, because you know her mother's Cleopatra and all that good stuff. So I tried to make it kind of royal, made it a little white. 
and yeah um we have the witch's room who is Bella right here so she has kind of like some spooky stuff going on melly comment stop playing your sims and i'm comment. sorry i'm also playing sims right now um <laughs> she's supposed to be helping me and she's just over here having fun yeah, fun and fun and work don't mix <laughs> all right great uh what am i supposed to be looking at Supposed to be commenting on my room. Goodness. Um, and then Sibella just has these creepy uh, spiders. Like yeah, they're spiders. Gross. I'm assuming instead of like having a cat, because you know pets isn't out yet, she just has like spiders that listen to her. <laughs> and that's why her wall is kind of like a spider web. Um, and then, oh, I completely forgot Jordane's room downstairs. Um, we'll have to go back down and check her room out. But yeah, Jordane's the only one who has a room downstairs. And then this is Lockie's room, the um, daughter of, or the stepdaughter of Cleopatra and the real daughter of, the, what do you call her? The Lockie's monster? Yeah. 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 Was it Lockie's monster or Gilman? It was one of them. But basically, um, she she's a fish creature. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is her room. She's very girly. She has obviously like her fish friends over here. His name is Peter. <laughs> I think he's a goldfish. Um, yeah, and she has all her, her, all her. Well, listen, fish have names too. They don't have to be swimming. <laughs> and then she has all her awards and stuff for swimming over here, along with her plaques and things. Um, and then she has two more fish over here. Here's her gummy fish, a rarity. Her name is Candy, mm -hmm. and her skull fish, whose name is Scully, because you know we're really original here. <laughs> And then, um, this is her room. Nothing crazy. Like, none of their rooms are really, really, like, all over the, like, a lot. Um, but that's all their rooms. And then down here, we actually have Jordane's room, because I couldn't fit it upstairs. I ran out of space. But yeah, this is Jordane, the, uh, Wolfman's daughter. That's why she has a picture right here of, like, the classic, iconic Wolfman movie. Um, this little bear that her boyfriend got her. Oh my god, Patrick is so sweet. Oh my god, Melly, stop being bitter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just have... Oh god. You're fine. And then we just have, like, her little study area. Like, she doesn't really have a lot. Like, none of these girls really have a lot in her room because they're in college. But they have homes. They don't need to bring everything with them. But yeah, these are literally just their rooms. Um... And they actually live next door to, who lives over here? They live next door to, um, Jenny, who's the bitch. Um, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Jenny, who's the bitch. Um, Elena, who we just don't mess with. Uh, Indi not Indigo. Um, what's her name? Not Indigo, because I switched her name. Ivy, who's, uh, Elena's sister. And then there's one more. Who's the last one that I'm missing? Jenny, Elena, Ivy, and I'm missing somebody, but we'll look out. I think it's, um, Suzette. Is it Suzette? I think it's Suzette. But yeah, we're gonna go visit their house right next because they literally live next door to these four, so this will be fun. All right, y'all, so after my detour that I'm probably cutting out because it was long, um, yeah, <laughs> here is the other household, and yep, it, oh no, it wasn't, who was it? I said that, uh, Ivy was a part of it, it's actually not, it's, um, Jenny, Elena, uh, Suzette, and Leah. There's too many people in these houses, I can't, but, um, really quick, we're gonna go check out their house, and this is what their house looks like. I love teaching Melly how to play The Sims, it's so cute. She's like a little child, but anyway, um, this is the uh, outside of these four sims I just named. Um, <laughs> Leah and Jenny and Suzette and Elena. And this is their living room, Mele. Let's see, wait, how can I, okay, yeah. So this is their living room, you walk in, um, you hit this little area right here. They have like some food and things over here, a little dining area. Little hookah bar lounge type situation going on with a chalkboard. This is their only bathroom in the whole entire um, place, but it's kind of cute. It's like jam packed with everything they need, and it's very, very pink, if you can tell. And then in here, you have the kitchen, and Leah, obviously, being the baker that she is, she's part, she's actually the captain, I believe, of the baking and cooking club on campus. 
um, she bought this big machine in and she's just like, you know what? We are always going to have the best food around. So that's what she has. So this is her haven, the kitchen. Um, and then if you go up these stairs, you'll actually hit blah, 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 all of their lovely rooms. So here we have the little hallway um, that you would hit <clears throat> if you're walking up the steps and things. Just threw some random pictures on the walls. I really wasn't... This build, like, this this particular one, I was really paying more attention to the rooms rather than, like, the downstairs area. Like, in the other house, the, um, C C not, yeah, Cibella in them's house, I feel like I paid a little bit more attention to the downstairs area than their room. Because, honestly, it depends on what character you have. Like, I feel like these characters would be more in their rooms and Cibella and her friends would be more in the living area because they actually all like each other and hanging out. So that's why I did that. Um, but yeah, this is actually Elena's room right here, and she is the really smart one. She loves her games. She, uh, is part of the main friend group, but she's very backstabbing. Wink, wink, do we know certain people like that? Um, <laughs> oh, I still remember. I named her after a girl that I actually knew. I'm, st I'm still, well, Melly just learned this, that I'm very petty and I hold grudges, so... I'm still kind of bad about it. Oh. Uh, you wouldn't know who the person is, but yeah. And then you come into this room. This is actually um, Suzette, who's the Bila, who's the very sexual being one. Um, this is her. Or she's not even sexual being, but like a lot of people are attracted to her, so this is her room. Um, I really love her room because my favorite color is purple, so I appreciate this one. And then, yeah, this is... Oh, I keep clicking. I don't want to click. Um, but this is her area, and I really like it. And then here is actually Jenny's room. Jenny is the uh, succubus, so she has sex for survival. <laughs> Basically, if you want to get candid, um, she has these creepy little voodoo dolls up here. What? Well, Vila's feed off of people's no, sexual Melly. energy. Melly's over here hoping that her laptop charges, so that's what's happening in the background. Um, and then here is... Stop hitting it. It's not going to help, Melly. Um, and then here is Leah's room. And she's going to eat chocolate. Eat make chocolate. I didn't tell you. Oh my goodness, I did not make you open it. Anyway, this is Leah's room. I really like Le Leah's room for some reason. I don't know why. It's like such a kitty type room, but I appreciate it so much. But I'm also like a big child, so yeah. Um, and then she kind of has like this walk-in closet situation going on here. Um, which I really like. And then if you come outside, uh, you actually have to go up the stairs through this main entrance, through Jenny's room to get to the balcony. So if like anybody ever wants to hang on the balcony, they have to go through Jenny's room, which is going to be interesting because y'all know they don't like Jenny. Jenny don't like them. So I wonder if she's going to actually lift them onto the balcony. She's going to be like, no, my area, go away. Um, but yeah, this is everything they have. And then they also have like a little grill station out here for Leah to cook them some good food because you know she's gonna be the main one cooking but yeah that is all the houses that I have so far and then these are what I have so far done I'm working on the third house I'm like partially done but I'm still working on the rooms and things like the actual rooms like I have their living room and their bathroom and everything all set up but I need to work on their rooms and then I have the teachers so two more teacher builds the two guy builds and then <laughs> I think one more girl build. So basically, I'm I'm dying just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Um, and then Melly, what are your comments about my builds and my towns and my gameplay and my machinima and all that good stuff? Melly might be doing a voiceover for me, y'all. But yeah, get used to this amazing voice. <laughs> oh my god, don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, we put a lot of time into it. Yes. And yeah. you like thought of every room, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Melly's never nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> <See>? <laughs> no, but but yeah, so Melly, I was asking you earlier, um, because I called Jenny a bitch earlier, and Melly's like, Oh my god, why don't you call her that? And I'm like, Have you not been watching my videos? And she's like, No, I have. So I'm curious, um, what do you think of these characters and their backstories, like, from all the episodes and videos that you've seen of these setting them up? Like, you've seen them all, right, Melly? Put her on yeah, yeah. all of them. Okay. I think everyone has a really good backstory. Oh, thanks. And, um, 
it's almost like watching maybe like a fan fiction or something <laughs> that come to life. And I'm actually invested into like their backstory and stuff. You mean in there? I'm a true fan. <laughs> Melly was like my second, second or third. No, Rosie was my first subscriber. Matt was my second. You were like my third subscriber. So she'll forever be one of my favorites. She'll forever be one of the day ones. <laughs> From day one. Rosie was the first person to ever comment on one of mine. Who Rosie was a part of the Smash or Pass challenge, and my boyfriend, who has his own little gameplay on here, like boyfriend plays The Sims. He was actually my first ever like. So I was like, oh my god, yay! <laughs> Um, and I'm always the one sharing. I'm just like, share my videos, please. Love me, kinda. Thank you. Kinda. Um, I'll only love you, kinda. <laughs> but yeah, so I appreciate that uh, you like the backstories because I actually, I'm right, like, this is all based off, off of a story, like I said, that I wrote when I was like 12. And I still sometimes go back and edit it and add chapters in. So literally, before I come on here, I have to reread the chapter and I'm like, okay, what happened? And then I have to film it. So, that's like the most annoying part, but it's well worth it. I want to fight her again. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm done. Alright y'all, so it's 11.58 at night. I think I'm going to make myself a turkey sandwich. <laughs> you actually are still baby. Yes! And probably watch some YouTube videos. But <laughs> I'm very delusional if y'all can't tell. Um, but yeah, uh... Melly didn't get to really say a lot. She was so into her own game. But she will most likely be helping me with my mission of a voiceover. So I'm really happy about that. I have quite a few people who agreed to help me with that. Because um, like I said, I'm working on another machinima that y'all either will see or won't see. Yeah, it really depends on what I want to do with it. Um, but it's like something totally different from this. So I'm probably going to start out with that sometime this upcoming week. And then hopefully I can finish the rest of these house builds. If not like Saturday, Sunday, if not by the following Saturday, Sunday, then by the following, following so, so like two weeks. Um, so I might be posting a lot more of the actual Sim 4 gameplay that I do with Donna and Chance a lot more just while I get these guys set up. So I'm sorry if y'all gonna miss them, but I need some time to finish these houses, and I really don't want to go off the gallery because I really want this to be as authentic and mine as possible. Um, but yeah, Melly, say bye. Bye, I'll be back, and I'll be better. <laughs> I, I'm gonna hit her with this thing. I hit her with an Eevee. Mm -hmm. Um, put him on go! Oh my god! <laughs> she hit me! She threw it back at me! But um, yeah, y'all, so that's all I have for y'all in this part. I hope you all enjoyed y'all all know my model, Sim School Super P. And it's your girl, Tony Time, guest Smelly. And we'll see you on the next one, or I'll see you on the next one. See you next time. Bye. Everybody, I'm just adding this um, audio in at the end of the video because, one, I wanted to let y'all know that I actually think I'm going to change my upload day and time. It'll probably still be early in the afternoon, but I'm probably going to change the day just because I haven't been able to record on the weekends lately. I've been so hectic. So I'll let y'all know when that's happening. So for at least the next two weeks, please don't expect a specific time and day because as y'all have been seeing for about the past month and a half, I have not been doing it right. Just just too much hecticness has been going on. So watch out for that. Uh, it'll be in the end credits like usual, my new upload schedule. But for now, it's probably going to be TBD or TBA. I can't think to be announced. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know that. And that's all I have for y'all. Some school super P. It's your girl, Tony Time, and I'm out. Bye. And Melly's also about to get fired. So, have you been watching any videos about Christmas? I have been. I was watching videos. You have? Yeah. So, why are you surprised that I call Daddy a bitch? Because anytime you call anyone a bitch, it's a surprise. I don't want to get my laundry. Go get my laundry for me. Yeah, fuck me. Matt! Matt! Are you Matt, Matt! Yes! That's why I'm trying to go away! Matt, can we go to eat and to the Halloween store when you come up? You bitch, that's our plans! <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you. Oh, Do what you want, but I don't care. <laughs> Have any of y'all ever tried the Oreo chocolate candy bars? Nelly made me buy one. Not sponsored. One. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. I always like to be a YouTuber. <laughs> I can't stand her.
<laughs> Why is she in my videos? Why are we friends? I <laughs> force myself into these videos. <laughs> but she made me buy her it. And I'm like, <laughs> shut up. She made me buy her the Oreo chocolate candy bars, and I kind of want to try it. Okay, open it. Me. That means you probably lost all your videos. You're just gonna save it, you dummy. Alright, y'all, so I'm gonna try this. Let's see. Hashtag not sponsored from Melissa. <laughs> Milka. That doesn't sound sexual at all. Mmm. 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 Alright. Let me finish this piece right here. I swear I'm always eating something in the video. Are you? Are you? <laughs> I really feel like I am. And I feel like in the middle of the videos, I should just start putting in like what I'm eating. <laughs> I did that in a video one time, thank you. I did that in a video one time. I think it was the, um... You put it right here for now. <laughs> okay. I think it was the wedding day one where I was editing a lot. And I'm pretty sure in one part, it was either the wedding one or the one where I was trying to get um, Donna to start talking to one of her co-workers right before she met her husband. And I was in one, I put in a section, I was like, everything I ate while editing this. I was like, pretzels, cake, candy, brownies, cookies, ice cream, rush. Tony is so healthy. <laughs> and then I think what's about to mozzarella sticks, fries. She's <laughs> putting it out there. Me and Tony go to the gym, <laughs> but then she'll buy cookies after the gym. <laughs> I feel like you deserve it. <laughs> yeah, dead ass. <laughs> Do it for the potatoes. <laughs> if I burn 200 calories while on the treadmill, I can eat it back in a cookie. <laughs> but I'll maintain <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait. I have to get the chocolate on my finger first and drink some water because I'm dying. Mmm! Oh my god, y'all, have y'all ever like taken a shower wow. and the steam was so hot? Shut up. And the steam was so hot. <laughs> and the steam was so hot that you like get lightheaded. That happened to me today. I almost fainted in the shower. I had to come out. Ooh, you. Sit down for no that. one will relate to that. <laughs> oh, I'm a love you. I'm gonna have It's not just me. I need to know I'm not a medical oddity. I don't want to be all like a season of the doctors. Like, it's not just me. Somebody out there, please make me feel valid. <laughs> Melly made me eat Chipotle today. You understand this is all being recorded because I can't stop the recording, right? <laughs> so, like, but did you like Chipotle or not? Oh my god, he does. Did you like Chipotle or not? She's over here trying to create Dylan O'Brien on her sims. Shut up, you don't need to tell me what that. <laughs> Melly's also a twin, so she's also being creepy and creating her twin on Twitter. I'm also making Derek Hale from Team Wolf and make them marry each other. I don't know who that is. I've never watched Team Wolf. Does anybody, if anybody ships Derek, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> She'll save it to the gallery and y'all can download. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>